Hello, I'm Denise Waterman for South West London Television and today I am at Battersea Library and I'm trying to find out whether or not I can trace my family tree somewhere in the history of my family. I understand that you may be able to send me in one direction that's worth looking at. Well, Wandsworth Libraries has a subscription to Ancestry. Um, which is an online database where you can access census records, electoral records, shipping records, and I think there's some parish records on there as well. So it's a really good place to start with your family history. You can access it in any Wandsworth library. Um, if you come to the Heritage Service, we'll be able to give you a few pointers on using it if you've never used it before. So I'll start off by you showing me. Maybe we can find my grandparents, my grandmother, and her mother, so they're both Marys, and my grandfather's there as well. So, shall we go and have a look? Absolutely. Wow. So, yeah, there you've got Moses there, and you can see the surnames actually spelled differently. Is um, that normal? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, um, is it? Because usually what happened when um, the census was taken, it wouldn't be like now when you would fill in your own census return, someone would come and visit the house. Oh. So you're dependent on two things. You're dependent that they've heard the information correctly and taken it down. And you're also dependent that no one's fibbed about their age. And you're also hoping that whoever's transcribed it for ancestry has done it correctly. So hopefully all of those things align. Okay, so this is the printout of the information you showed me on the screen. So if you could just bring this to life for me. Sure, so this is the Census of England and Wales for 1911. So Mary Ellen Kelly. She's given us the wife of the head of the family. Her age is 35. Her birthplace is given as Salford in Manchester. Manchester, my goodness. Now, this is interesting, this column here, you have children born alive to present marriage and the total number of children born alive is given as six. The children still living are given as four. So she lost two. Yeah, because we have, we have four still living with them here and yeah, the children who have died are listed as two. I never knew that. Now, the earlier census that I managed to find, I think, is your great-grandfather in it. Okay. Is the 1891 census. But if it is him, he's not married by this point, so we can't corroborate it by saying that he's living with Mary. Okay. At this point, the person I think who is your uh, great-grandfather is living, he's, he's, he's still living in Wales, but he's living with three other men. The four of them are listed as boarders. So they're just renting a room? Yeah. Okay. Um, and his profession is given as working at a manure works. But it says that he was born in Ireland, but yeah. he's living in Swansea. Yeah. That's I mean, really interesting. We know that your, um, that your great-grandmother was born in Salford, so we're not quite sure what her journey was down yeah. to Wales. That might be something for to be continued. Yeah. I will try and find out. Well, this is a real eye-opener for me, and I'm sure if there's anyone else out there that's ever thought about tracing their ancestors, then don't think about it. Come on down to the, your local library, this one or any of the others, and have a chat with the people that can really help you. You've got to make an appointment, so don't just turn up. But if you come with the information, they can definitely find something out for you and it's a great experience. Thank you very much, Emma. Thank you. I'm Denise Waterman and you've been watching South West London Television. Thank you.